Yo, yo, what's going on? Y'all, it's your boy Devon Terrell, and welcome to another Help Me Devon tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon tutorial, I'll be showing you guys the integration of Pro Tools and Melodyne. Melodyne has just been integrated into Pro Tools natively, which is super powerful, and basically all I want to show you guys is the workflow. And that's really what I think the advantage is with having that inside of Pro Tools as far as Melodyne is concerned. Now, I will give you a disclaimer. I've never used Melodyne ever up into this moment of the integration. And it was really simple for me to learn it and to figure out where I would actually use this within my sessions. So I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that I have that I basically come up with, as well as just how simple it is to get up and running with the Melodyne integration into Pro Tools and basically why it's important or how it can help you. Let's get right to it. Okay, so long story short, here's my session. I'm gonna play you this song right quick. It's one of my own songs. Let's take a listen. But either way, I wanna say you might be bad for me. So tell me if I'm wrong, are you bad for me? Don't drag me along, are you bad for me? Cool, so that's the song, um, and it sounds cool, but there's a lot of things that I would like to change. And for instance, I probably would have to run on over to a bunch of my third party plugins, et cetera, to do the changes that I wanna make. There's a certain spot in the baseline, for instance, that I said to myself, dang, I really wish I can change that note. But like how we download a splice loop, right? Uh, it's really difficult or it's a little bit more of a tedious process to manipulate audio from a pitch standpoint um, if I'm working and trying to make music. Watch this. So, within the bass line, I heard something that I wanted to change. I literally want to change a specific note. That specific note is over here. So tell me. This note right here, I want to change again. So, how would I do this? Well, now that Melodyne is integrated into the system, I can use Melodyne to change that specific note on an audio file. Check this out. I'm going to go right on over to here. I'm going to click this, and I'm just going to click Melodyne from this window. Boom. Now I have the Melodyne uh, plugin or ARA setup right here. And it's showing me all of my notes as far as the baseline is concerned. As I triple click or even as I highlight certain spots, it automatically kind of puts that in the viewer, which is super cool. Now, the specific note that I wanted is over here. Let's take a listen. Now, this particular note right here, I want to change it. And basically what I did was, you can go right on over here to the left-hand side and put in the key, which I know is E major. Now, as I click it, it lets me hear the note. And I know deep down that I want to change this note in particular to this. I like this note better. Let's take a listen to this in its entirety now. That sounded so much better and that was easy that was just click click move this down I'm done and that's built right into Pro Tools now if we go back on over I can literally just click this button and it moves the window boom the window's gone and it lets me know hey there has been some work that has been done I love that it shows me the preview here as well as far as what's actually on uh, using the ARA uh, stuff so long story short say for instance you say to yourself uh, if you want to actually commit that, meaning you, you're done with it, you, you don't want to do anything else as far as, uh, you know, moving any pitches and stuff like that, you can literally come over here and you can decide to just commit the audio if you wanted to. But if you didn't want to do that, you could just leave it right there open and just know that at any time you can come back and have it right here, which is super cool. The other thing I'll show you is we could do it with vocals as well, which I feel like a lot of you may be using it for vocals. So... I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click Melodyne, and it's giving me my stuff right there. All my information as far as that, that is concerned, as far as the vocals is concerned, and it's all the notes right here. So, if I double click this, it'll zoom in on that, but then if I spread it all out, it'll show me all of the notes that I have in this particular spot. So, let's take a listen to this right quick. And... But either way I wanna say, you might be bad for me. So tell me if I'm wrong, are you bad for now, me? Now say for instance, I'm saying to myself, I really just want to tighten those notes up a bit. I feel like there's a few spots that I kind of just want to tighten up. What I can do is I can literally press Command A, like on most of our DAWs, to select everything. 
I can come right over here to my pitch macro, macro and I can literally drag this to center. Now, what this is doing is, and as you can see, I want you to pay attention to at the actual notes in Melodyne. It's bringing those pitches of the vocals that it sees closer to the center of the actual note that it's closest to. So basically it's getting those vocals or that sound source more closer to being perfect in pitch. And it's really easy to do. So basically as I move pitch center, it's getting tighter to the, or basically closer to the center. Let's listen to this now. But either way I wanna say, you might be bad for me. So tell me if I'm wrong, are you bad for me? Don't drag me along. And I can feel that it feels a lot tighter as far as that pitchiness is concerned. And you can use this in a variety of different ways. But I just wanted to show you a quick way of how to use that with as far as how I'm gonna be using it with my workflow. Now, of course, I'm gonna also be using it with guitars, with my actual vocals, and understand this is only the very basic version of Melodyne that it comes with. If you decide and want to upgrade your Melodyne, that will be seamless, and you can even use that upgraded Melodyne within Pro Tools as well. It's up to you, but we all will have access to that essential version that they've given us and have this kind of power. I can literally change notes of stuff, and if you get the, the higher levels of Melodyne, you can even dissect chord structures uh, from sound sources as well, from backgrounds, from all kinds of stuff. So, do I think this is really cool? Absolutely. Um, do I think that if you are the type of person that really does go deep into editing vocals and sound sources, basses and stuff like that, that this is gonna help? Yes, because now instead of going so far out to a third party, now I have it right there and I can always refer back to it. I don't really have to go anywhere. It's right there and I can decide if I wanna commit that or if I just wanna kinda edit it and then continue going, as opposed to kinda saying, okay, now it's time for pitch correction or now it's time to do um, some of those kinda things. So, I hope that that was helpful. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us at Help Me Devon on Instagram, and also make sure you join our Discord community with a bunch of aspiring engineers like yourself, trading secrets and getting game. And make sure you listen to the My Audio Nerds podcast every single Wednesday. And also, please let me know in the comments what you would like to see next from us. So that was my tutorial, and I really hope you like it. And until next time, you guys.